And we're back. And continuing with our look into Arkham Knight DLC, right now we are playing the Catwoman's Revenge DLC. This takes place after the events of Arkham Knight. For those of you who have watched my Let's Play, the parts of it that weren't censored of Arkham Knight, you'll probably notice that um, Catwoman was captured by the Riddler uh, during the events of the game and forced to have Batman, you know, compete with Bat with Batman to save these challenges and things like that. Eventually, uh, Catwoman was rescued by Batman with the help of Batman's help and her own. And as a favor, Catwoman helped Batman defeat Riddler and bring him to justice. And that's the last we saw of Catwoman and, uh, and the Riddler. Batman, of course, well, Nightfall Protocol engaged, so we don't know what's going on there. But yeah, that's to set the scene, basically, before this DLC happens. It's called Catwoman's Revenge, so it's my opinion that she probably didn't enjoy being held captured with a bomb strapped around her neck. So, let's see. You actually got to play through as Catwoman throughout all of Arkham so City, but you couldn't do that here. To me, the entrance to Riddler's robot factory is hidden in here. <sighs> Key cards on the goons. Of course. Eddie's in prison and he's still wasting my time. Can't let him see me. Easy. Everybody got their key cards? Yeah. Good. Don't lose them. Cause we have got it made. That would have the city in jail. Penguin's boys ain't getting paid. Two-Face's boys spend the night robbing banks and they ain't getting paid. But Riddler's boy, we're getting paid. You're damn right we are. God bless that. So yeah, like I was saying, um... Makes me feel bad for all the times I cornered nerds in high school and made them eat their slack. One down. Okay, uh, I, I really kind of liked that uh, Catwoman could go through all of the all of the game without being bothered and stuff. So, he doesn't have it. I'm guessing. I got two. It's not the robot's fault, man. Don't blame them. It's the supervillains. They all want a robot army. But being a minion is all about the personal touch. And three. M3. Easy. Time to head back to the terminal. At least she's stealthy. I gotta give them that. They've carried over her stealthy abilities from Arkham City. Hmm. Come on, come on. Three keys. Why is it always three keys? Here we go. Someone's here! All the keys. Keep your eyes open and find them. Great. Better take them out before heading in. sucks I have to take all these guys out are you kidding me I see her. She's getting away. yeah that's that was on me I'm sorry hey guys how many ways are there to skin a cat Yeah, that was on me. I should have, um, I should have, I should have known my, he turned left. I expected him to turn right. That was on me, guys. 
So for Catwoman information, I, if you ask me, I don't. I feel like Catwoman is like one of the most popular characters to never actually be accurately portrayed in any medium other than her original one. Which is just so unfortunate. There are no words for how unfortunate that is. God, how many guys are here? It's like 20 guys. I mean, I like that she has a unique fighting style and she's great, absolutely great when it comes to stealth. She's like probably the best stealth character there is. Great in just a second. All right. Hey, hey, what all right, they're all kind of starting to bunch up over here, so I'm going to move around just a little bit. She got someone else. Oh no! Stay calm. We can still take it. Yeah, get enough. Keep moving. Hey, hey, Catwoman. We're all criminals here. Maybe you could just leave us alone? Like that'll work. Shut up. Let her think about it. That was close. Oh no. This guy. Is he dead? Where are you? On me. She hit this guy hard. How many is that now? I've lost count. Too Too many. Too many. Game says I gotta take all these guys out. There's literally dozens of these guys. Keep calm, all of you. We'll be fine. Catwoman, we're sorry, but Nick was already in jail. You want something under the floor? It's nothing. I think I'm losing it. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Someone down. Where are you at? Over here. All right. There are two guys here, and I don't want to mess with that great right now. They're gonna have to separate, because uh, otherwise I'm stuck here. He ain't getting up. Keep moving. All right, there's three guys left. That's it. There's nothing but it's just these three guys. Let them separate out a bit. Is everybody okay? I'm clear. Okay, guys, stay calm. We'll be okay. <laughs> All right. Now I think there's just two left. Pounce the ceiling. Oh, 
She's gonna scratch our faces up, like she did Two-Face. No, I ain't exfoliated all my life for a ten like this. We could take her. She's not Batman. I wish Batman was still around to save us. <sighs> Alright, I think he's the last guy. Why aren't you getting off the grate? Fine, you won't get off the grid, I'll come after you. And that's it. Aw, she gave me a nice little kiss goodnight. That's nice of her. <sighs> okay, that's the idiots taken care of. Now for the door. <sighs> Let's see. Switches and symbols, of course. <sighs> Why is it never a lock? I can pick locks. It's a robot. <sighs> Is this a puzzle? Robot, a cage, an angel, and it looks like a gargoyle. Oh, I'm sorry, a griffin. Oh, that's not it. So, I need to figure out the right order, I guess. Am I missing? All right, I guess I have to brute force this. Mm, I got no choice. There's got to be some clue around here about which order I need to hit these switches. Oh, well, I guess I guessed. Ah, did it. That officially is the last of these damn things I ever do. Here's my location, robot factory. Computer, computer, it is I, your master. Hello, the Riddler. You sound very smart today. Thank you, computer. But this is a matter most exigent. Exigent error. Do not understand exigent. It means urgent. Understand? Understand? Now. Thank you, the Riddler. Y yes, yes. You're welcome. Now, the Gotham Police Department currently has me immured, and I. Error. Do not understand, immured. It means imprisoned, you idiotic machine. Confined, incarcerated, banged out. I don't know which is more corrupt. The prison industrial complex or your vocabulary files. Thank you, the Riddler. I, <laughs> you're welcome. Now, computer, computer. I believe this would be a felicitous and a pertinent time to run the jailbreak protocol. Error. Do not understand. Run. Go! Computer. Run vocabulary diagnostics. Error. Do not understand. Run. <clears throat> Error. Do not understand. Spark. Just, just, just. Shut up, computer. Shut up. Stay on the line. <laughs> I will manually execute the jailbreak protocol by using the If the computer doesn't understand the 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 the, the command execute. run, then he must be using a Mac. <laughs> Talking to my lawyer. <laughs> get out, get out, get out. That is legal. Calm down, Eddie. But he's not really talking to his lawyer. That's not legal. I'm gonna steal all your money and destroy everything you've built here. Okay? No! I don't approve of that defense strategy, sir. River. Uh oh. When 
my robots to feed you, make sure to crawl out of my lovely factory and die on the street. Not bad. She's not a bad fighter either. Not the best, but she's very weak. Remember this trick? I'll cut you to ribbon. Just die, please. Catwoman, I can't see. Are you dead? No. I mean, why? That's an outrageous fail price. Guess we're moving on. talk to himself. I thought he was his own lawyer. Maybe that's the gag. He's talking to himself or something because he said his lawyer is representing himself. Now, this reminds me of an episode of The Tick. I don't know if anybody ever saw the original series, The Tick, starring Patrick Warburton. It's a really good series. It's on a crack the last I checked. I don't know if it's still there, but yeah. There was an episode called The Tick vs. Justice where um, a super villain played by Kurt... Uh, I can't remember the actor's last name, but... With the patience of Prospero, you'll be looking over your shoulder mm -hmm. so hard. That's Shakespearean very nice. Will unscrew and fall right off. You keep it down, Nigma. Don't make me take away your chance. Uh, sorry, Officer. My, but you're particularly shiny today. So yeah, um, there's a great scene in the. In, it's a very good episode. Even if you've never watched the Tick, it's a really good episode. Even if you're just remotely interested in like law or, or, or basically how the law works in a world with superheroes but um, I found it I found it a really good episode and uh, the gag there's a gag basically where the guy is literally talking to himself in his jail cell he's a super villain he's talking to himself in his jail cell and um, as he's talking to himself he basically admits literally everything while talking to himself in his jail cell now there is a superhero at a legal superhero watching him in his jail cell basically saying that she could testify Alright, those it's those floor plates, those freaking floor plates are driving me crazy. That's a bit of a problem. Revenge is a dish best served by an expert, consummate in its ideal preparation. Yeah, it's those freaking floor plates that were more dangerous. But uh yeah, so she he admits everything and she says, you know, I can hear here I heard you he admit everything. You could testify I can testify. And he says, actually no, you see, I was having an external conversation with myself. Since I'm my own lawyer. Your um, and while it is true that there is a complete confidentiality between uh, lawyer and client, that that is absolutely true. At least in the United States, it is certainly. Um, I don't think that that is actually covered, or at the very least, I would take it to a judge and and say, well, let him decide or her decide, because I don't think that that's a sound argument, at least not one that would fly in in today's day and age. I mean, there was a lot about that uh, that episode that probably wouldn't fly, um, but you know, you never know. You watch it because the show is funny. You watch it because Patrick Warburg is funny, and she and, and he really was.
Ow. Oh, oh crap. I I don't get it. What's the trick? It's too tight. Farewell. Do I have to beat all these guys? I mean, do I... I it was just... It, there was just so few panels that I could actually move around it. What's the trick? I guess I just have to keep. I, I guess I just have to keep destroying them. That's the trick. These computers through that door. <sighs> I guess that was the trick. The trick is you gotta basically just keep fighting them. All right, let's see. Oh gee, it's locked. And encrypted. So good luck. Good luck. Voice print accepted. Welcome, the red. No. Thanks, Eddie. No. I won't accept the plea bargain. <laughs> So here's the computer systems. And looks like the plans for his giant mech. Eddie, you're not going to need 2.73 million in jail, are you? They feed you for free. Stop! And what are you going to do with a robot factory while you're in there? Arrange some sort of elaborate prison break? Please, please. Do you want me to beg? I can beg. Mercy, mercy, please! All right, Enigma time, you calm down. Get off the phone. Bye-bye, Eddie. Ugh, unhand and unhook me, you authoritarian attack dog! Oh, a taser? You think a taser frightens me? <laughs> I am the ruler, and you will not... Don't tase me, bro! <laughs> Don't tase me! And I just got the Cat Came Back trophy. And that is another...